I hear the quiz a coming. It's coming around the bend. And I ain't seen Q12 since. Well, I don't know when. I'm stuck in this phone prison. Time keeps dragging on. But that trivia train's a rolling down to the savage zone. Oh, it's Tuesday night, 9 o'clock, yeah! On this February 26th, what would have been Johnny Cash's 89th birthday. Johnny Cash me outside, how about that? All you trying to make that cash tonight on HQ, let's see how well you can do. I'm the host of a show called HQ, a boy named Scott. Johnny giving out cash. Scott Rogowski live at San Quentin. Walking these hills in a long black veil. With Eddie Gordon sharing Johnny's birthday, turning the big 7-0 for Eddie. And a lot of first time winners from last night's Marvel movie game, including Sean Fagan, Jen Corrente, Kevin Lee, and Mark Browning, who won on his 60th birthday. Congrats to all you. I know you've been playing a long time. It feels good to win, don't it? Tonight, you're walking the line through 12 questions, answer them all, and win not just a share of our cash prize, which is $2,500, but also get this, it's the final week of season two. We're going all out with our points, 100 million points, plus the money. <laughs> and if that's not enough, we're throwing a 10 times multiplier on every question. So if you don't go all the way, you'll be inching ever closer to those level ups. We're backing up the point truck. Get those free passes for the season finale, kids. Sunday, March 3rd. Let's check in on that right now. 9 p.m. Sunday. We're at 118,866 wrinkled, crinkled, wadded dollar bills. You can afford more than a few pairs of blue suede shoes with that loot. Do you have an extra life? Extra lives can be used in conjunction with those free passes, making you essentially bulletproof. No one's going to shoot you down with those passes, those lives. Will you fall into a burning quiz of fire tonight? Or will the tears you cry for not winning flood that big river? Maybe you're more of a Beyonce fan than the man in black and you're already given up. Well, then come back manana. Yeah, HQD's getting formation for Beyonce trivia night, 9 p.m. Today they told me, hey, do you mind if Sharon hosts? I was like, yeah, that makes way more sense. So she's serving up Beyonce trivia tomorrow and Thursday night, Lord of the rings. We're going there. We're going there, folks. You wanted it. You've been asking for it. We're giving it to you Thursday, 9 p.m. Eastern time. But tonight, it's just you and me, baby. So look out, Jackson Town. We are five feet high and rising. It is time to get down to our filthy quizness, all you junkies and juice heads and dirty old egg-sucking dogs. Let's get down to the nitty-gritty with nearly 400,000 of you live in this game right now. Let's get this show on the road. It's not Johnny Cash theme, by the way, in case you thought. I just, I'm just giving him a little tribute. Kimuro, numero uno, baby. Which of these games typically involves the fewest number of players? World of Warcraft, Solitaire, or Fortnite Battle Royale? Oh, where are we dropping, boys? Where are we dropping? For this game, it's all in the name. The fewest number of players. By that, I mean one. It's you against yourself in Solitaire. The most dangerous game. Solitaire is played solitarily in solitude. Get it? 339,136. You are not solitary. There are a lot of you in this game at Q2. Well, Siberia forms a major part of what country? Russia, Wakanda, or Algeria? Here's a hint. One of these countries is fictional. And one is located near the equator. Siberia, quite cold. Ask your local Soviet dissident if you don't believe me. Siberia is that huge chunk of Eastern Russia. Uh-huh. Russia, big part of it, very sparsely populated. 332,484 catching Siberian brakes, riding that Trans-Siberian Railroad Orchestra over the Urals to Q3. Michael Jordan did not professionally play which of these sports, basketball, baseball, or football? The air up there, MJ, his airness, possibly the greatest basketball player of all time. Of course, you know, basketball is one of the sports he played. But as far as multi-sports athletes go, he's no Neon Dion or Bo or even Brian Jordan. He played pro baseball for a season with the minor league Birmingham Barons, but no foosball. Football. He didn't play football professionally. I mean, maybe flag football on the weekends. 326,000. 832. Come on, the rest of you, you haven't seen Space Jam? It's all in there. Playing baseball, not very well. Q4, 
four. Which of these is the real name of the low-cost wine known as Two Buck Chuck? Charles Shaw, Charlie Tuna, or Shasta McNasty? Two Buck Chuck. Think of all the Two Buck Chuck you can buy with 2,500 or 118,000 on Sunday night. Charlie Tuna, that was a top jock on LA radio in the 70s. Shasta McNasty, a badly reviewed UPN sitcom in the 90s. But if you're strapped for cash within a 30 mile radius of a Trader Joe's, then you knows. Two Buck Chuck is the nickname for Charles Shaw. Cheap, cheap, red, red wine. 269,691. Tippling tonight, the rest of you, sorry, Charlie. Maybe you got a free pass to keep you in for Q5? Which of these is a neighborhood in both London and New York City? Chelsea, Williamsburg, or Shoreditch? London calling. London, New York City. Two very similar places. Both great theater cities. Massive subway systems. A pret-a-manger on every corner. And they share a few neighborhood names, including Soho, Greenwich, and Chelsea. Ah, woke up, it was a Chelsea morning. For 276,298, the first thing that you heard is gonna be Q6 on this Chelsea evening. Which of these words can mean either to ponder or to chew, pontificate, contemplate, or ruminate? Why don't you chew on this? You ever hear that expression? It means to think something over. And that's sort of where we got the phrase ruminate, which comes from ruminants, animals that chew their cud, cattle, sheep, antelope. 158,125 joining the ruminant band. Shout out to Fruit Bats. We lost 175K at Q6. Ouchie, wowie, brutal Q6. On to Q7 we go with a preview for Thursday night's game. In the Lord of the Rings films, Treebeard the Ent was voiced by the actor who also played what other character? Legolas, Gollum, or Gimli? Ah yes, we're just wetting your appetite with this one, folks. Jonathan Reese davies did double duty in the Lord of the Rings films, voicing Treebeard, a.k.a. Fangorn, and playing Gimli, son of Gloin. Treebeard, some call me. Nobody tosses a dwarf. Nobody tosses a dwarf. Gimli. Wiser words were never spoken. 133,772. Getting this one right. And my axe. You're taking your ex on to Q8. You're ruling them all tonight. The Plur Doctrine is most associated with which of these dance music, city planning, or international relations? Remember, Lord of the Rings Thursday. If you like that question, you're going to love Thursday night. The Plur Doctrine is different from the Blur Doctrine, which is girls who are boys, who like boys, to be girls, who do boys, like their girls, who do girls, like their boys. Always should be someone you really love. Plur is peace, love, unity, respect, something that saccharine could only be associated with rave culture in the 90s. Dance music's your answer, and look at this. We're dancing our way to our first savage question of the night. Yes siree, Bobby Weir. We just lost over a hundred, almost 20,000 of you there. 51 to 10 remain. Raving and craving Q9. As its name suggests, a fluoron is a typography mark that looks like what? A leaf, a star, or a bird. If I'm a bird, you're a bird. This mark is known by many names, but the other ones give the answer away. If you know French, you know fleur means flower, and a fluoron, which is often used to divide sections of writing without a chapter break, resembles a flower or an ivy leaf. Yes, it's also called Aldous's Leaf, I believe, 44,436. You know your horticultural dingbats. But do you know Q10? You gotta answer three more to win the money and all those points tonight, baby. Q10, in subatomic physics, the term strangeness is used to describe what? Level of antimatter, a rate of decay, or intensity of charge. Oh, we are going from glyphs to Subatomic particle, particles, we're getting physical and quizzical here at Q10. Up, down, charm, bottom, top, and strange. Makes for a good Hawkwind album title, but these are in fact the six flavors of quarks, a fundamental constituent of matter, and strange quarks decay more slowly than others. Rate of decay is what we're looking for here. 15,485, you haven't decayed from this quiz yet. We lost 30,000. 
Really hope you have an extra life to keep you in. Stranger Things are afoot here, not just in HQ trivia, but also at Words. Yeah, HQ Words coming at you right after this game, 9.30 p.m. So even if you get out, stick around, stay tuned. Anna Royceman's coming up soon. We got two questions left in tonight's game, Q11. Buddhism's eightfold path does not include which of these principles? Right view, right effort, or right surrender? To all you physics freaks who figured out how we segue from quarks to the eightfold path, well done. If you're looking to be liberated from suffering, and who is it these days? You gotta follow that eightfold path. Right view, right intention, right speech, right action, right livelihood, right effort, right mindfulness, right concentration. No right to surrender, surrender. 13,582. Not waving the white flag tonight. You are on the path to Nirvana, which of course is winning HQ. At Q12 we go. It all boils down to this. Find your center, find your zen. Namaste, Q12. Which of these animals has a true horn? Goat, caribou, or rhinoceros? Rhine, car, horn. A true horn is a permanent two-part structure with a bone on the inside and a coating of keratin on the outside. Now that is different from the caribou's antlers, which like all antlers are just bones, 100% bone. The rhino is the opposite. It's mostly 100% keratin. But cattle, sheep, and goats? Well, they have the real deal. True horn, goat. 8,618, you are the goats of HQ, baby. You're our big winners. Woo! Yeah. Oh, your goat didn't go dry, your hens, they didn't stop laying. You didn't get busted tonight. 8,618, splitting that $2,500 prize and the 100 million points. Breaks down to 29 centavos and 11,604 pointavos for all of you. JPB30, congrats. Niraj1, Swat Medi, Ian KGG, The Dewey, 1506, Pineapple, Ooh. Citric, Sweet, Citrus, Arams, 11, is that citrus? What is pineapple? Yeah, it's like, it's got that bromelase, that good, uh, those enzymes. Hey, congrats to all you. I can't name you all. I wish I could. But uh, you want a, a, another chance at winning HQ? Oh, play words right now. 930 with Anna the Royce, the Rolls Royceman. And tomorrow night you can come back for Beyonce. Oh, we're so crazy right now. Crazy in love with Bay tomorrow. 9 p.m. and Thursday, of course. We teased it with that question about Tree Bird, Lord of the Rings. Yeah, one quiz to rule them all, one quiz to find them. You know what it is. Season finale is Sunday. We're over a hundred thousand, well over a hundred thousand dollars. Mark that in your calendar. I'm gonna be gone till then, so I will see you next month, HQDs. Until then, I am Scott Rogowski signing off for the tonight on this Tuesday, February 6th, saying, Yes, they'll all come to meet me. Arms reaching, smiling sweetly. It's good to touch the green, green grass of home. Happy birthday, Donna Cash. Good night.